The Sniffer is making its debut in Minecraft 1.20, and could be coming soon to snapshots and betas near you. Are they done with the Sniffer? Is it ready to be put in Minecraft? What is it like? What about that mysterious plant? Let's talk about it. According to this tweet from Minecraft, the Sniffer is making its debut in Minecraft 1.20, and will be coming soon to Snapshots and Beta. Raise your hand if you're ready to meet your newest friend, with an article. Let's check it out. Okay, found it. The winner of the Minecraft Live 2022 mob vote is making its debut in Minecraft 1.20. The Sniffer is an ancient mob that was extinct, until now. Well, if you decide to help it thrive, that is. To bring the Sniffer back to Minecraft, you will need to find its eggs and help them hatch. Which you can try out for the first time in a Bedrock Beta and Preview and Java Snapshot that will be coming soon. In the earliest snapshots, betas, and previews, you'll be able to find the Sniffer in creative mode without all its functions. For example, finding and hatching the egg. But don't worry, the Sniffer that will join Minecraft 1.20 is going to have all the functionality you voted for during Minecraft Live 2022. As always, we'd love for you to send us feedback, so we can continue working on it and make the Sniffer the best it can be. You can send us all your thoughts to our dedicated Minecraft 1.20 feedback site and report any bugs you find at bugs.bojang.com. When getting to know the final form of the sniffer, the first step is to ready yourself for an adventure. You're going to have to set out into the overworld and start searching. Sniffer eggs can be found in suspicious sand, which also contains other objects like pottery shards. Once you've unearthed your egg, it's time to help it hatch. I implore you to pay close attention to this part of the process, because you have not lived until you've seen a snifflet burst out of its shell. When your snifflet is born, you stop cooing over how cute it is. It will grow up into a sniffer. This mob is not only huge, but also helpful. Being a bit of a botanist, it will sniff out seeds that used to exist when they first roamed the overworld. You can plant them to fill your game with new unique decorative plants. Which mob did you vote for in last year's Minecraft Live? In case you've never seen the show or need a refresher, Minecraft Live is our annual epic live stream, where we invite our amazing community to share in our excitement for our games, hear the newest news, and vote over a new mob. Last year, the Sniffer faced off against the Tough Golem and the Rascal. I tried to vote for all three, but was informed that this was not only against the rules, but also make all three votes void. Don't worry. This has not discouraged me from trying again in the next vote. What it has done, however, is encourage me to bring the runners up to life through the ancient art of fan fiction. And now I've found this secret library. I've gone ahead and shelved my self-published tomes, Sniffer Heights, Lord of the Rascals, and Taming of the Tough Golem. Do your Minecraft tales also end up as short stories? Maybe you're more of an illustrator or a sculptor. Or perhaps your stories stay within the game, waiting for you to play another page. The world will never have enough Minecraft stories, and I want to thank you for your creating your own. Whatever shape it may take. Whether or not you voted for this gentle giant, you can still enjoy the excitement of the vote on our YouTube channel. Keep your eyes peeled. We're not quite done revealing features that are going to be included in Minecraft 1.20, and if you've never tried out a beta preview or snapshot, the best way to prepare for the sniffer joining Minecraft is to brush up on how to install them on your preferred platform. Written by Sophia Denkis. Let's talk sniffer information. This tweet from Echo Soldier says, Minecraft sniffer is almost here. Sniffer eggs can be found in the newly introduced archaeology sites near desert temples. Players can hatch the newly unearthed egg into a baby snifflet. Once grown into a large sniffer, they can sniff out ancient seeds. And it's even got some pictures here. This thing does look big. Now, that is interesting and all, but bigger question is, what else could be found at these archaeology sites? And exactly how small is the snifflet? That is a fair question because I'm kind of curious myself. But, on another note, this tweet from ENG says, Man, 
1.20 is looking to be a banger update. It's got a picture of archaeology, a picture of the armor trims, bamboo wood, which I'm not too big a fan of, and the sniffer. Certainly an interesting update, yes, but I imagine there's going to be more that we just don't know about. So, hopefully, there's more to this update than just those four things. But, not to worry, I'm sure Mojang has more stuff up their sleeve. We'll see, won't we, when 1.20 comes out, whether there's anything more than they've already shown. Cross your fingers! Maybe there will be. But, that's just my opinion. What are your opinions? Do you think there's going to be more? Or, do you think they've shown us everything? Let me know in the comments. Now, back to Echo Soldier's tweet. Sniffer eggs can be found in the newly introduced archaeology sites near desert temples. Players can hatch the newly unearthed egg into a baby snifflet. Now, I couldn't find any pictures of a snifflet, but I can talk to you about speculation regarding its size. Picture or no picture. So, we're going to discuss it. How tiny do you think the sniffle will be? The article did say cute, so maybe it's tiny. Like, really tiny. Bunny-sized, maybe. That would be funny. Going from bunny-sized to humongous? <laughs> no, I don't think it's that small. But that's just me. Personally, I think the sniffle's going to be adorable. Which is exactly why they said cute in the article because it's going to be adorable. What do you think? Do you think the sniffle will be adorable or not? Let me know your opinions. And honestly, I would love to hear your opinions on everything else in this video. Let me know how you feel about all of this. The armor trims, the bamboo wood, the archaeology, and the sniffer. And the potential for more stuff. Let me know. I'd really appreciate your input. Who knows, maybe I can do a Q&A Saturday if you have questions. But that's it for this video, and I'll see y'all in the next one.